Wait, I'm still not well man. <laughs> yeah, especially between your ears and then, of course, is your feet. Oh, yeah. Hello, love. How did you know it was time for me break? You think I'm immune to all these insults? Well, you must be. You're still here. Hey, don't have me come looking for you. What happened yesterday with you and Mum? Not much. Oh, come on, that's all I got from here. You must have said summit. If you mean, have I decided to whisk my family off to a better life? I didn't really get that far. Situation remains unchanged. Not even when the new baby come in. You know as well as I do she can lie for England. Yeah, and you know it's yours. She wouldn't do that twice. Twice that we know of. She's a manipulator. Simple as that. How do you think she got into Warm Farm, eh? Do you want to put the family or what? Oh, Debbie. Just go away and leave me alone, eh? Debbie, love. You coming for your breakfast before you go? Yeah. Shut her up. I don't know when I'll be back, so don't do me anything, yeah? I'll get me own. What? What? Do you mind just standing still long enough to give us an update? If I stop moving, I start thinking, Marlon. No, hang about. Whoa. I, I'm assuming you did actually discuss this minor issue with Kane. Right, look, I'm sorry. He thinks it's his baby, right? So the idea of him giving evidence and sending me down for it, well, it looks different now, doesn't it? So, where, where does that leave us? Well, wait a minute, I haven't finished yet. So that's Kane sorted out. All I have to do now is persuade Zoe that it's Chris's baby and she's in the same boat. What? Are you sure? I mean, having a moral dilemma usually involves, doesn't it, having morals in the first place. Now, Zoe, maybe, Kane... Either way, Marlon, you are out of the picture as far as everybody else is concerned. Now, I'm sorry, but I know that looks a bit shaky. It's all I've got. What if they start spreading it around? You are, and have everyone thinking that they've got some kind of vested interest now the trial turns out. Any evidence to give then is going to look well dodgy, innit? No matter when it comes out. If it's that simple, why do I feel so nervous? No, Lon, look, I can handle this, right? And if you've got any better ideas, you just let me know. You know you're not supposed to be anywhere near me. We certainly don't have anything to say to each other, so you don't mind? Well, I thought you might want to know how you with this baby getting on. Oh, I get it. Well, it's pretty obvious to me that any child you're carrying is Kane Dingle, so congratulations. Do you really think I'd make the same mistake twice with him? I didn't have to bother being careful with Chris. After all, he was my husband. All I'm interested in is when you're planning to get out of her tree cottage. All right, so I'm talking about Chris's baby here, and all you're bothered about is making a few poxy quid in rent. So, wait, I am telling you the truth. When have you ever done anything else? I'm busy. You're mad at me, aren't you? Now, why would I possibly be mad at you, Marlon? I go out on a limb for you, you know, like a friend does, and then you go and stab me in the back by letting charity move in there. No! What am I supposed to do? Chuck her out! Because the longer she stays in there, then the more it looks like I'm doing to Zoe what you're doing to me. And I don't like to do that sort of thing if I can help it. I can't, though. Look, give her a break, will you? Somebody has to. Hang on. How come you're the big white knight all of a sudden, anyway? She... She's family. Same as you, good as. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, is that supposed to make me feel bad? No, I, I'm sorry, it's not happening. Get her out. Have they all got names on? I wish. What's up now? Well, would you tell me? You're not happy, you know that. Yeah. Can't work out where the charity's lying again. Well, she's not. And that's the issue, isn't it? Well, you've not got long to make your mind up. Well, tell me something I don't know, will you? The way I see it, if the baby's mine, I refuse to testify. Charity might get off, and it's all happy families. Or she lets me do that, and she clears off with Debbie as soon as she gets out. Or I do testify, assuming the baby's not mine. Charity goes down, so do I for robbery. Baby gets put into care. 
And that's probably the end of me and Debbie. Or I testify. And then I go for custody. If it's mine. Confused? Because I am. I can never decide whether you're out looking for me or trying to avoid me. Maybe that's what makes me irresistible. Yeah. That's the problem. I need to know what you want. Could do with getting my car back. Hm. I'm not messing about. Are you seriously on about us being together, all of us? Or, or am I just supposed to pull out a testifying so that you can get off and then dump me? Well, you probably run a mile, whichever one I see. Try me. Well, we're a family. OK, so we're not everybody's idea of domestic bliss, but it's all we've got. Well, there's not three of us now, so there's four. So if we're going to deal with this, I reckon we just get on with it. Well, where are you going? I need to think. Well, can we not go somewhere? There's curtains twitching all up this street. I was told her that if she bought proper dog food, she'd probably save a fortune in carpet. Yes, but you haven't had Mrs. Op all morning, have you? That's true. Hiya. Am I right to come in? I don't know, Marlon. It depends. Are you on your own? Are you planning on sneaking somebody else in with you? Paddy! I, I just wondered if you, if you fancy coming for a drink later. You know, sort things out. Marlon, I don't... I don't understand why your head is sometimes. Charity can fight her own battles. She doesn't need you. All you're doing is turning everybody against you as well. Now, let's not be arguing, eh? Well, hang on. There's been times when I thought you were being born, Eddie, but it's never stopped us being mates. Yeah, but that was up front, though. This is different. So you won't be coming out, then? Why don't you go and ask Charity what she's doing? It's just a shame, that's all. Work out whether, you, whether you're being serious or, or you're just winding me up because you're after something. Yeah, but that's more about you not being able to trust anybody, Kane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you've never told me any lies before, have you? You must keep coming back for something. Yeah, and if I had any brains, I'd, I'd just slap you and then walk away instead. But you haven't, have you, so you don't? See... You're doing it again. What? What, you're winding me up. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Look, Kane, I might be a lot of things, yeah, but I'm not stupid. Lying's got me into all this bother in the first place, and if I carry on lying, I'm just going to dig a bigger hole for myself. So to get out of it, well, I've got to start telling it like it is, which is what I'm doing now. Can you honestly see us together as a family? I, I mean... All of us together, little house on the prairie. Well, how about big house up road? Because if Zoe thinks she can keep me out of home farm, she's got no chance. Now that I could live with. Well, you can have anything if you want it enough. Ridiculous. I agree, but it's the law and there's nothing we can do about it. I'm sure Chris would have had a few ideas to the contrary. And I'd rather not hear about them. To get someone evicted, you need a court order. Simple as that. Which means that Charity is still free to twist Marlon around a little finger and laugh at me at the same time. Marvellous. How long for? A legal equivalent of the piece of string, I'm afraid. Could take weeks. Could take months. Well, she's done it with Chris. She did it to me. And now she's at it with Kane. Just say, and I'll set the proceedings in motion. No point in waiting. No. Just thinking about what you said. Leave it a day or two, will you? I think there might be an alternative. I hope we're keeping this legal. What I'm thinking is not only legal, it's my absolute moral duty as a citizen. Why should you? All the brass you've had, your, your clothes, your fancy cars, why should you suddenly decide that you'd be better off with a loser like me? But we're talking about me going down for this. Anything would be better. Thanks. No, sorry, look, I didn't mean it like that. Whatever my other options, I want you. I don't need no flash car. We haven't needed clothes much either, have we, often, eh? Huh? 
How's the lovely couple doing then? I thought you and me had now to say to each other. We well, haven't. I just thought I'd ask Kay how he feels about bringing up Chris's baby. What are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. So does she. Tina, notice of a kin. She's just having one of a psycho rants. I might well listen, you think about it, because when I'm around, it's Chris's baby. And when you're around, it's yours. You bitch. Who's she lying to this time? I wonder. And you're bad books as well now, am I? I'm Paddy's wife. I tell him if I think he's wrong. You obviously think he's right about charity. Marlon, I admire what you're trying to do for her. You're doing what's right as you see it, and I can't call you for it. But? Well, Paddy's trying to do the same for Zoe, and you're both as pig-headed as one another, right or wrong sometimes. Now, can I get you anything? No. No, I just, I just came into, you know... What? See if I'd be on your side. Forget it. Hiya, Marlon. Running short of milk. Don't worry, I'm writing everything down. Did I say anything? No, but you gave me the evil eye. See ya. You think I'm making a pillow coat myself, Emily? I think it's only you can sort it out. Take that as a yes then, shall I? It doesn't sound like it's me you're trying to convince. Why couldn't you just take one of your pills and get your big trap shut? Oh, have I put you in an awkward position? I am sorry. Why should I believe you and not her? Because I have no reason to lie. And because she thinks I'm still a dingle and you'll always be a tit. Isn't that right? For you, maybe. I'm not that small-minded. You're just using me, aren't you? No! She's using both of us. She's trying to. So why don't you stay in Petri Cot until you've got yourself sorted? I wouldn't want to appear small-minded. Bye. Evil bitch. She's just frightened because she thinks that you're going to testify and that I won't go down for it. I meant you. <sighs> the thing is, it's not just charity we're talking about, is it? You're talking in riddles again, mate. Come on. It's because I'm thirsty. Earn it, then. Well, if our charity were up the duff, so to speak. No beer token so far, I'm afraid. Then there's the other question. Which is? Who's the daddy, as they say? What do you think you're playing at? I was just telling him. Here, don't you go try bribing me with ale. What do you think I am? Go on, clear off. Are you talking to me? Don't come to you, innocent. Your shirt's all of you. Coming round here, sniffing around. You didn't take much sniffing out of your old goat. You know where I am when you can find no one else to buy you beer. Don't give me that. You're lying like a cheap watch. There'll be another violent death round here if you're not careful. Oh, I? And I've noticed you fighting Charity's corner more than normal. And both of you living in the same house. You nasty little creep. Yeah. Well, as it is, it's you that needs to be careful, isn't it? <laughs> Why can you not walk and lie at the same time? Okay, so I did tell her it was Chrissy's kid. Is this another plan, eh? To get me to smack you on? I wonder how that'll play in court, eh? Just listen to me! I told you that I want you and Ken. I mean it. Right, yeah, cos who better to bring up Chris Tate's child than me, eh? That's just it, but if you just shut up for one minute... Why? Cos you're lying. It's all you're capable of. Charity, if you'd have said to me, Kane, will you stand up and lie for me in court? I'd have probably gone, yeah. Yeah, fine. What do I care? But you know something? Now, after this, I'm kind of leaning towards my civic duty of telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth for the first time now. How does that sound? But it's your baby. And as if I'm going to tell her that. Listen, as long as she thinks it's Chrissy's kid, I have still got a way in, and there is no way that she's going to let any take kid go short, is yeah. she? Yeah, do I look like a cur? Kane, it's your kid! 